What's up guys, Wu here, back again with another Division 2 build video guys, and this one I'm bringing you another skill build that utilises two talents that give this build some oomph, some power to deal some really nice skill damage and some nice explosive damage. But yes guys, as always, if you enjoy the build, you know what to do, give me a thumbs doodle, that helps, it helps the video, and that's really good because that gets the channel out there a little bit, so thank you, and of course, if you are not subbed to the channel, drop the Wu bomb on the sub button, ding the bell to be notified when I upload my shizzle. Guys... Let's move this. Okay then peeps, this is my glass cannon combined arms skill build for TU9. And we'll do some really nice numbers in TU10. Don't get me wrong, this is powerful. Now the assault turret, which is my chosen skill, that's the, the primary skill on the build, deals on this build 215k damage per tick, which is pretty awesome. I have seen this go up to about 220 as well, which is really nice. It's, it's just, yeah, fantastic. In TU10, as per the patch notes, there will be a 20% assault turret buff. So, yeah, guys, a 20% buff. So, this can only become stronger in TU10. And plus, this isn't min max. It's in a good place. Don't get me wrong, it's in a really good place. But there's ways to generate a little bit more carnage with this setup. And you can see I'm rolling with Technician, which gives me that extra 10% skill damage. Unfortunately, I don't have an armor piece, which I feel is good enough that has skill damage and skill haste on to replace N any of the above. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. But I'm using Technician because I want that 10% skill damage. That's key. And again, I'm going to get that with the Explosive Seeker Mine. If I use Demolitionist, then yeah, I'm going to get a little bit extra damage with the Explosive Seeker but my turret will lose that 10% skill damage. And again, this is kind of the essence of the build. It works around the assault turret. So guys, I have zero offensive, zero defensive, six utility. I have one minor attribute for offensive, one minor attribute for defensive, and 14, 14 lovely, jubbly, yellow utility stats. 726k armor, 280k health, and six skill tiers. So guys, the mask is Charlotte Industries Corporation, and I'm rolling with the two-piece um, because explosive damage, that again, that marries really well with the Seeker Mine. And of course, the second piece is, or well, the second brand set attribute is Skill Haste, and that is also also really handy because I want my skills back quicker. So that's that's quite nice. And as this, you can see Skill Damage, Skill Haste, and a nice 11.3% Skill Haste mod. Now the holster, this is the first time I'm showing you this, guys, is my improvised holster i have uh, i said in my last video that i have crafted a lot of these and by god i have there's a lot of these been crafted and the good thing with this is you're going to get two attributes so once you craft it it can roll with a skill tier damage or whatever um i wanted a skill tier obviously and then the attributes i wanted at least one skill haste and then the one damage um simple as that so i had seven percent skill damage which was kind of okay missing three percent damage but it is what it is um but the skill haste uh wasn't on there initially it was something like arm regen and it was something like two percent or something, something crap because i re-rolled it and i got skill haste 11.6 percent which is quite nice um, and then i got a nice 11.6 percent skill haste mod um, which is which is cool. So I'm gonna get an extra is it 23.2 percent skill haste on this particular piece And these are just craftable at the crafting station um, But beware you could get one great first time but at the same time you could be 50 times and it took me that that long to get this particular one and Then the knee pads wife and wear and just yeah, you can see it is a beautiful god roll with skill damage again It's key. You've got to have 10% skill damage somewhere on the setup and yeah You can see guys. This is perfect skill high skill damage the perfect recipe for a lot of carnage on this setup Now the gloves is Hannah you and I'm wrong with two piece Hannah you because I want skill haste and I want skill damage. Uh, with this, I've got skill damage and status effects, uh, a near god roll status effects. I kind of wish it was uh, skill haste, but it is what it is. But again, a really nice pair of gloves. Now, the backpack is the Force Multiplier, which is the official named Hannah U Corporation backpack. So with this, again, it's skill tier, then it's explosive resistance. I re-rolled it for skill damage, um, which is key, and critical hit damage as the offensive mod. Um, it's not perfect. 
it isn't perfect. Ideally, I'd like skill haste on there or utility mod, but I've had three or four of these drop and the rolls have been quite poor. Uh, this is the best one that I have that will really generate something decent. I do have, I'll show you here, I do have this one, which is more of a DPS one, um, which I use, again, which I do sometimes use on my hybrid build, um, which is fairly decent. But again, for skills, this is the best one that I have. So guys, if you have something which is near near this, then happy days, uh, you'll be in a slightly better position than what I am. So perfect combined arms. Shooting an enemy increases total skill damage by 30% for three seconds. Again, very simple, just continually pop enemies. Could be their leg, could be their chest, head, testicle, whatever. Whatever, guys, just make sure you're popping those enemies. Again, it, it will refresh as soon as you repop the enemy. So it's not three seconds, then you can pop them again. It will continually refresh. So, guys, that is something to bear in mind, and it works well. Now, I've gone in with this build going in for a lot of damage, and I want to create as much damage as possible. So you can kind of see where the backpack is going. And this is the second piece of channel light, and that's skill damage, skill haste, and skill haste as the utility mod. Now, glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 25%. All damage you take is amplified by 50%. Now, we know with this talent, you're dealing some carnage. You're dealing some really bad, big, massive booms. So, in a nutshell, I'm getting my Seeker Mine over 7 million damage. Over 7 million. That's what I have. Combined Arms, Perfect Spike, and obviously Glass Cannon, which is a baked-in talent on the bill. It really causes carnage. It really does. It's really nice. However, you are squishy. Now, as I've said, you could replace a piece and turn it into an armor piece that gives you a bit more survivability if you wish because he's technician and that will balance that out and you still be using six skill tiers so it is just dependent on what you have i don't have that luxury at the time if i did i'd slap it on there but i don't so but you guys i'm sure if you have something which is viable then guys try and get that armor piece on there to give you a bit more survivability but glass cannon it hits so hard really really hard and that's why I'm using a particular weapon as well, which I'll show you very shortly. So, guys, let's take a look at the weapons. My primary weapon is the Surge. Again, with skill builds in general, the Surge is the best option. It is the best option. Perfect spike. Headshots grant plus 25% skill damage for 8 seconds. It's a really nice talent, and this is getting a slight buff in TU-10. The duration has been stepped up a little, which makes what's great because it means active for longer, which is awesome. So this is great. If you can roll as an attribute damage to armor, that means your skills will do more damage. So damage to armor is the preference as the attribute. Don't worry about the core attributes. It's all about the minor attribute, which needs to be damage to armor. Mods, guys, critic chance, rounds, critical chance, and some more critical chance. Now, the secondary is the Baker's Dozen, and I'm using this because of several reasons. First reason is, uh, it's the named um, high-end rifle, which is brilliant. I love this weapon. Yeah, and people say, yeah, it's cookie cutter, it's cheesy, all that crap, whatever. Don't care. What I do care about, it hits really, really hard. Again, you can switch this for whatever you wish. It's entirely up to you. You could use the Sandman if you wanted. So again, you could take down Rushes. You could use that. That's fine. Use the Pestilence. That will also hit hard because of Glass Cannon. It is up to you. But I'm using this because I can get 1 million damage. 1 million damage fairly easily with this. And again, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a lot. But for 6 skill tiers on a skill build, getting that kind of damage, you know it's gonna, it's, it's, it's great. And it, it's needed. Again, to, to cause some more carnage on, on the setup. So, perfect lucky shot. Magazine capacity is increased by 30%. Missed shots from cover have a 100% chance to return to the magazine. Uh, again, like me, potato aim, this is perfect for you. Critical chance, optimal range, and more critical chance. Now, let's take a look at the skills, guys. Oh, before I forget... The sidearm, the sidearm. Now, the Maxim 9, I've opted for that because it's the um, this Technician Specialization Sidearm. And if you're running Heroics with, as an example, with, with directives on there, one of them mean, meaning you're getting less ammo, then this is brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant because, yeah, you're not dealing a lot of damage with said sidearm. However, 
you're proccing perfect spike. That's a 25% skill damage. And again, that's just going to benefit your turret and benefit your seeker. Brilliant. Happy days. And that's exactly what you want. And again, you're not consu consuming any ammo because, it again, it just continually refreshes. So this is kind of nice, depending on what kind of activity you're doing. Heroic missions, yes, it's perfect for doing this, especially if you have directives on that gives you more loot, etc. Then this is awesome. Uh, it's a really good pick until you recover more ammo. So yeah, it's quite nice. In terms of the mod, it is just simply rounds. I nearly forgot then, guys. I nearly forgot. Okay, so the assault turret is the cooldown 11.5 seconds. It's damage 117.530. Ignore that, peeps. Ignore it because that doesn't factor in glass cannon. And then you have the surge, i.e. perfect spike. And then you have, yes, the backpack talent combined arms. It hits for 215k. Yes, and I'll show you shortly. 215k, which is beautiful. Um, in terms of mods, they are damage, uh, skill haste, and health. And then, guys, the secondary skill is the explosive seeker mine, which is on a 17.2 second cooldown. And the damage is 4 million. 4 million, which is nice. Uh, 68,466. Um, it's skill tier 6, obviously. Uh, mods, there's a damage on a 4.3%. A uh, health one of 6.7% and another damage mod of 4.8%. Let's take a look at the stats, guys. Okay, 15% crit hit chance, 56.6% .6 critical hit damage, 60% headshot damage, and a little bit of armor damage as well. Again, you let your skills do the work. What you need to do is continually proc combined arms. In doing so, you're going to see a, a huge influx in damage. And that's what you need, really. You, you need to see, again, those huge numbers from your assault turret, and then you need to see those huge numbers from your explosive seeker, which, again, 7 million damage is achievable. I have done it numerous times on this build as you've seen in the gameplay it it shreds um it really really does and i love it yeah anyway big numbers are good numbers so guys uh all weapons damage bonus 10 percent again it's not a lot it is what it is 25 percent rifle damage yeah so on it's fine that's just from the technician and of course uh the bonuses on the weapon it's fine, guys. Don't worry about it. What we need to be doing is focused on creating more carnage on the setup. So skill damage is key. And then we take a look at skill haste. It is at 103.6%, which is a good place to be. You can obviously get some more on there and get an extra 10%. But again, bear in mind, um, with this, it's in a really, really good place. And again, if you get over 10%, if you take off one of the, the, the performance mods, i.e. the offensive mod from combined arms, then... Again, you lose a bit of crit, but again, cool down, you, you might shave a second off. Again, something to bear in mind, with whichever you, way you want to roll, it's entirely up to you. Okay, guys, I do a quick demonstration in the good old range. Let's get to very hard. Yes, we are. So let's just, that's the Baker's Dozen, um, which will show you how hard this hits. Um, bum, bum, bum. Let's wait until we see a crit. 890,000. Which is quite nice. 944,000. I see, it, 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 it does some nice work. Okay, 945. Obviously, in the battlefield, I've been getting a million damage quite easily. And, it, you know, the, the way to look at it is, is someone will be running Coyote's Mask. So that means, yeah, you guessed it, there's going to be some more damage on there, of course. Um, so let's just pop the turret. Let, let's just take a look at this. So what I'm going to do first, guys, is pop this in. That will be about 140,000. The 146,000. Okay. That's nice damage. I like that. And again, 117 was the base. 146, that takes into consideration glass cannon. So let's just pop a headshot. Perfect spike. And combined arms. And look at that, guys. 215,222 damage on that, which is beautiful, really. And that's beautiful. And that's from Perfect Spike. That's Combined Arms. And, of course, that's from Glass Cannon Talent. Uh, and, it, again, you've seen it creates carnage. Absolute carnage on anyone's build. Um, NPCs will be melted. And then you have that extra 20% buff into U10. So you can, you can see where we're going. This is going to be a really, really top build. Just take into consideration you are very, very squishy. It's like a featherweight against a heavyweight. It's all about that speed. It's all about playing 
to your strengths and your strengths is not getting your ass out in the open stay in cover uh, and just make, make sure you're popping what you need to be popping just to generate this extra damage it, it works a treat but there you go guys hope you enjoy the build if you do thumbs doodle it helps and of course uh, drop the woo bomb sub button ding the bell and i'll see you in the next one guys peace